What's good, YouTube? What is good? It is Jimmy, and I'm back with another video. We chilling in nature. We chilling. We chilling. We chilling. Gonna find a spot to sit down at, so I can talk to y'all about, you know, my semen retention journey, my nofap journey. It's been about a year. It has been about a year. So basically, this video, I just want to tell y'all like how this year's been. You know, how I've, uh, what's the word, progressed. You know. And just how the journey's been so if y'all are new make sure you like comment subscribe y'all look at that beautiful sun i don't know if y'all can see but sun is beautiful right on me but let's just talk about it so i have been on a uh, semen retention for about a year i'm pretty sure about a year a little bit over a year i don't know i don't remember the exact day but let me just tell y'all my um my journey so you know, ever since I've been on semen retention, my life has changed for the better. I promise you guys that. My life has most definitely changed for the better. I love preaching. I love telling you guys, you know, go on semen retention. My boys, go on semen retention. I tell you guys this all the time because you need that energy. And I'm about to tell you why you need that energy. You need that energy. You need it. So let me tell you the benefits that I've personally, you know, witnessed, personally gone through. So since I've been on semen retention, you know, I no longer have negative thoughts, you know, I no longer have negative emotions, I no longer get depressed, I no longer have anxiety, and I've learned how to control my emotions. And I'm pretty sure that is from semen retention also with meditation. Those two are is what really helped me, you know, on my, you know, controlling my emotions, you know learning what to get a like i don't i i literally know how to control my emotions i determine what gets me angry i determine what gets me sad no more of that you know automatically getting depressed or sad or angry over something i can control my emotions now and i i've been like that for the past few months matter of fact next manifestation manifestation has been so much easier so much easier y'all realize once you hold that energy in you it is that is also that is a how do i word this that energy it's also a spiritual energy you can use once you hold that energy inside of your body you can use it towards other things i i literally use that energy towards manifestation it works i use that energy towards manifestation that is the most powerful energy there is on this planet it, manifesting is so much easier what else what else? it also helps you physically boys it helps you physically it helps you physically it helps you grow that energy it helps you grow bigger it helps you get facial like no cap i've been y'all probably can't see but i've been <laughs> i've been growing no cap like my shit been growing like and i never i never had facial hair ever in my life like i've been shaving it like if i didn't shave y'all would probably like see it much better but i've been growing this shit bro and like it did not start growing until i hopped on semen retention no fat but what else what else what else next 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 once you hold that energy, you know, people around you can feel that energy. People around you can feel that energy. Like, have you ever, have you ever, you know, walked into like, oh, no, no, no. Have you ever been in a room and somebody walked into that room and you felt that person walk into that room? Like, you know what I mean? Like, like you, you've been, you were sitting in a room and then somebody walks into that room and you feel like the energy shift inside of that room. You feel me? Once you hold that energy in inside of you, my nigga, you are that energy. Like, if you hold that energy inside of you, like, people don't even realize. People won't know that you're holding that energy inside of you, but they, they will feel that energy, you know? They will feel that energy because that, your, your semen, your energy is the most powerful energy on this planet, People will feel that without even knowing what it is. They will just feel it. People can feel energy, bro. You can walk into a room. People will look back at you, bro. They'll be like, oh, that's that nigga, bro. They will think inside of, inside of their head. That's that nigga, bro. That's that nigga. They will, bro. Mark my words, bro. Next, next, next. Confidence, bro. That shit, bro. That shit boosted my confidence like a bitch, bro. That shit boosted my confidence like a bitch, bro. Once I start holding that energy inside of me, my sh my confidence, bro, through the roof. Like, not on no cocky shit, bro. Like, on some humble shit, bro. <laughs> like, my confidence has been through the roof these past few months, bro. Because I've been holding that energy. Because I've been holding that energy. Next, you know, people, like I said, when people say they feel that energy, they are, they are also attracted to that energy. 
they are also attracted to that energy, you know? So for y'all boys who wonder why you can't get any girls, it's because you don't you don't have that energy, bro. Like like I said, the people the people who are non-spiritual, who don't know about semen retention, this and that, they can still feel energy, bro. Like that's why I said like girls are girls are more attracted to boys who have that energy, who have that confidence, you know? And if you are wasting that energy, you aren't going to have that confidence and you are not going to get the girl or whoever you want, bro. You are not going to get it. You are not. What the fuck is on my ankle? <laughs> you are not. You are not. You are not. You are not. You are not, bro. Also, once you hold, I was talking about how it helps you physically, bro. That shit, that ass makes you stronger. It helps you grow taller, bro. Like, if you're a basketball player, bro, you hold that shit in you, bro. You're going to be jumping. I don't know. You're going to get a higher vertical, bro. You will get a higher vertical. For my uh, bodybuilders, you know, my weightlifters. <laughs> hold that energy in inside of you. Hold that energy inside of you for a month. Hold it in for a month. You're going to see a difference. You're going to see you maxing out 50 pounds, 100 pounds more than you were before, bro. Mark my words, bro. Mark my words. Like, y'all think this shit is cap. It's like, people really think that it's cap and it's like, it's not true. Yet, those are the people who haven't tried it yet. Those are the people who haven't tried it yet. So, like, I'm telling y'all, bro. And for y'all who say, bro, I literally, I, I can't stop, you know. I can't. I just always get the urge. And I literally can't stop, bro. What do I do? What do I do? Bro, I can't help you on that. Of course, you know, me, other people, we can give you advice, guide you on the way. But the only person who can really help you with that is yourself. Nobody can help you stop beating off, bro. How, how am I supposed to help you with that? That's something you go through on your own. That's something you go through on your own, bro. On your own. On your own. <laughs> so, it's a mental thing. Before anything else, before anything else, it is a mental thing. What, I never thought I would make it to a year. It's a lifestyle, bro. It's not, it's, you don't count the days. You, you're not counting the days, bro. You're not counting the time. You're not leaving a, a, a start date and an end date, bro. It's a lifestyle, literally. It's a lifestyle. Once you get past that first what is it first let me tell y'all first two weeks first two weeks to a month once you get past, because that is the hardest period bro like for my boys who tried it and you know relapsed because they were just getting the urge too much bro it's in between that first two weeks to a month between the two weeks and the month once you pass that stage bro you're not even gonna get that urge anymore you will be straight bro you will be straight bro i, I promise you i promise you so many other people say the same shit bro once you get past that stage you are you are good you will no longer get the urge. You will be straight, bro. You will be straight. And, bro, I'm just telling y'all, it's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing, bro. Holding that energy inside of you. That, that doesn't mean you have to hold it in forever. Of course not. It's not meant to be held in forever. But it's not supposed to be released every day, every week, every month. It's not, it's not how, that's not why it's inside of our bodies, bro. It's energy. It's supposed to help us on our journey. It's supposed to help us. It's supposed to, bro. Think about it. Think about it. Look, like, listen to me, bro. Listen to me. <laughs> listen to me. That can make a whole child. That energy can make an entire human being. It can make a whole nother you. Think about that. It can make a whole nother you. It can make a whole nother me. It can make a whole nother person. Do you think we were put on this earth to be wasting it, watching two other people have intercourse through a phone? Think about that, bro. You you know you're not supposed to be doing it. You just don't want to face it. Like, bro, one-on-one, one-on-one -on -one type shit. Like, right now, it's just me and you. Think about it. Think about it. You think you're supposed to be doing that shit, bro? <laughs> Come on, bro. You better than that. Like, and for y'all who say, I want to do some retention so bad, but I always relapse. Like I said, it's a mental thing. If you want to stop, you will stop. It's a mental thing, literally. You're not even the one getting the urge. You're not, you're not even the one getting horny. It's... It's your thoughts who are getting, it's your thoughts that are getting the urge. You know, it's your thoughts that are getting horny, but you're not your thoughts. You need to realize that you are literally not your thoughts. You can control your thoughts. You can choose what, oh, how do I, you can choose what to think about. You just got to tap into that shit, bro. You got to tap into that shit, bro. It's a mental thing before anything else. Like, yeah, of course, you know, cold showers, you know, working out this and that all those other stuff that all that extra stuff of course that can help you but before anything else it is a mental thing 
Do you really want to stop? Do you really want to better your life? Are you ready to change your life for the better? Are you ready? Are you ready to manifest that dream that you've been wanting to manifest for your entire life, but you haven't gotten to it yet because you don't have the energy to do it because you've been wasting it? Are you ready? It's, uh, it's, it's up to you. It's not up to me. It's not up to nobody except you. Are you ready to better your life or do you want to just waste your life, you know, sitting in the bathroom watching two people that you've never seen before? Do it. You might as well be in the same room, bro. You might as well. You might as well. What's the difference? What's the difference, bro? I already, I already have enough videos about semen retention and talking about all that extra stuff, bro. I don't even want to get into that shit, bro. <laughs> about, you know, how, you know, porn, porn is dead ass killing you in the brain. It's dead ass killing you. For my boys, bro, you're dead ass watching a, a whole man have sex with another woman, bro. That's gay, bro. <laughs> That's gay, bro. You watching a whole man, a whole naked man, you know, have intercourse with a woman. It's weird, bro. It's a portal for demons to enter you also. That's why y'all be having nightmares. Y'all be having depressed ass thoughts because you are letting those demons inside of your head, bro. It is, it is a portal for demons, evil entities, evil spirits to enter you, to enter your atmosphere, bro. To mess with your energy, literally. So y'all gotta stop, bro. Y'all gotta stop, bro. Today, for my, for my people, it's never too late. It's never too late. For my people who have not started, today's the day to start. Today is the day. Today is the day. You're gonna, you're gonna come back in a month, a, a two months, three months, and you're gonna, you're gonna thank me for this video, bro. Because I, I don't know why. Something just told me to put this video out, bro. Y'all got this. You can do it. I'm telling y'all, bro. I am telling y'all. Y'all can do this. Y'all can do this, bro. You got this. Ain't nothing to be scared of. Ain't nothing to be, you know, ain't. Ain't no need for negative thoughts saying I can't, bro. You're you're not an animal, bro. You're not an animal. You're not an animal. Animals act on instinct, bro. So the second your mind tells you you're horny, you go ahead and beat off, bro. You, bro, you're not an animal, bro. Stop acting like one. You are not. You are not. You are. You are much bigger than your thoughts. It is not you. It is not your soul that is getting this this feeling of. You know, being horny, this feeling of feeling the need to go jerk off, bro. That's not you. It's not you. It is your thoughts, and you are not your thoughts. You are not your thoughts, bro. You are not your thoughts. You are much bigger than your thoughts. You hear me? You are. So, y'all got this shit, bro. Y'all got this shit. I believe in y'all. Every single one of y'all. Y'all got this shit. Y'all got this shit. This was a video for the boys, bro. I got y'all, bro. And I, I mean this shit from the bottom of my heart, bro. You got this shit. I believe in you. Like, y'all who think you don't got no one to push you. I'm pushing you right now, bro. Go do this shit, bro. Do it. Do it. But I shouldn't be your motivation, bro. Oh, bro. Hold on. Time out. Time out. Time out. Look at that. You can see the, you can see the beard. No cap. Semen retention beard. <laughs> but I shouldn't be your motivation. You should be your own motivation. But just know you got two people believing in yourself. And, and you have two people believing in you. Yourself and me. I believe in you. You believe you should believe in yourself. So y'all got this shit, bro. I love y'all. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe if you haven't. Go follow all my social media links below. And I love y'all. We out.